What is up, homie? I'm going to teach you how to add footage from multiple cameras and insert it into Camtasia without having to import the camera's individual video files into the timeline. This solution will allow you to increase production time, which means that you'll be able to increase the frequency by which you can create videos. This is a production efficiency tutorial. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is going to be a good one. We're going to take cameras and actuate them with a button and it will be a single track on your timeline. This is gonna be huge. My passion is technology and its effect on engagement in this YouTube space. I study all the nuances of all this tech and software and marketing technology and techniques to see how it impacts watch time and engagement on my channel and on yours. So subscribe and click the bell for notification in the future for new stuff that I discover. And I'll see you there. All right, so back to working philosophy. The bottom line is efficiency in production is absolutely crucial. And the reason why is the more videos you can produce in a week's time, the better off you will do over time as months go by. You will be putting out more content than the average person and that will help your numbers. Assuming that the information you're creating has value, you will do better in this venue. It is absolutely proven. I've seen it firsthand. When I don't produce, when I don't crank out a video every week, my numbers drop, my CPM, my watch time, everything falls. It's like the machine wants to eat your content and if it doesn't get it, it gets pissed and you lose. So anyway, so the bottom line is, the philosophy here is what we're gonna do is we're going to add a virtual cam from OBS Studios, OBS software, okay, Open Broadcaster software, and we're going to use that as a virtual cam, a camera source, not your normal camera, but OBS, and in, within OBS, we're going to assign macro keys to multiple cameras so that when you're finished recording, you will get audio and a track that will flip to any camera that you selected during the recording. So, for example, in this talk here I'll show you we'll go here side camera all right the other side camera boom these are both c922s and then we're using my cell phone that uses NDI it's the NDI plugin which I will touch on how to set that up for for OBS so if you are a PC user and you are creating videos from your desktop not necessarily your phone your cell phone your desktop you need to do this because multiple camera angles create watch time Switching the camera views over and over again as you talk creates watch time. It doesn't bore the end user. It keeps them watching. So let's dig into how this is done. It's not difficult. I'm going to show you how to where to go to install OBS, where to install the virtual cam plugin. This is PC only. And the argument here is this is one of the many reasons why a PC is better than a Mac. Mac users cannot set up the virtual cam plugin with OBS. And this is huge, people. This is huge. If you have the budget, go out and buy yourself a monster computer with a lot of storage and a very powerful CPU and get on the ball with OBS and all this. Okay, let's get started. We'll dig into it right now. Okay, let's download some cool software right here. We're gonna start with downloading the OBS program itself. So we wanna go to this page, which is the obsproject.com forward slash download. You can download this for your PC. You can also download it for your app, for your Apple computer. But again, I want to remind you that the virtual camera plugin will not work. So basically, you're out of business, unfortunately. So uh, upon you installing the program, you will be prompted to do a, essentially a speed benchmark. It will measure the power of your CPU and the, and the connection speed of your internet and pre-configure the software to run at its best based on those measurements. I highly recommend that you say yes to that and let the system choose your settings uh, during that initial uh, installation, okay? You can do it at a later time if you'd like, but I recommend that you do it when you install the software. Now, upon you installing OBS Studio, I want you to go in and install the OBS virtual cam, which looks like this. You can find it at obsproject.com forward slash forum forward slash resources forward slash OBS dash virtual cam dot 539. Okay, I'll put that link in description. Go there and download that onto your computer. 
to get a sort of head start on uh, installing OBS NDI for your mobile camera, whether it is a Droid or an iPhone, you can go to this page here. I'll put this in the description as well. This is the OBS NDI, new tech NDI integration with OBS. This is really cutting edge cool stuff. If you can get this running on your camera, oh my God, you are going to love this. This is so cool. It makes me want to have another phone, to tell you the truth, because the phone on my camera is way better than the uh, C922s, which I will show you. Um, this will work for both iPhone. You can see the iPhone here. Boo! There's a, a screen grab for the from the Apple Store. And if I click the, uh, the Google Play Store, you can see it here. New Tech NDI. It is a round... 10 bucks. It says 19.99 here for the uh, the Google Store. For some reason it says 19.99. On iPhone it is 10 bucks. So I'm not sure why it's a different price. It's still worth it in my opinion. It's really worth it because it is so cool to have a wireless camera, desktop cam that you can work with. Okay, get that stuff installed and we will move on. Okay, upon successfully installing your OBS software, Go ahead on inside there and take a look at your scenes. I want you to create a scene so that you can add three sources to it, and those three sources will contain camera one, camera two, or whatever cameras that you have. I've got three, so I've got two C922s. I'm going to assign two C922s, and I'm going to assign my cell phone which the, with the NDI wireless communication technology behind it so that that's my third camera. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first and foremost, go in and click the plus sign in the lower right hand corner under scene. See it there? If I click that and then name it whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to name it cameras and mic. It's already been created. I just hit cancel. There it is right there. Now, uh, if I click into that scene, you can see here I've got some sources to find already. And I have already have three cameras. One camera is the NDI camera, which requires a plug-in. And then I have two other cameras, which is my left and right, which is right here and here. Okay, my right and left C922. So let me just show you how to do that. It's not hard. Uh, click the plus sign. And let's. Uh, I'm assuming you have a C922. All right. So I want you to click the plus sign and choose video capture device. All right, name it here, hit OK, and then once you uh, hit OK to it, then you can double click it. So in my case, I'm going to go to my right C922 camera, right view, double click it, and it will bring in some properties. Uh, one of the things you should consider, uh, first and foremost, is the size of the screen that you create, okay? So you want to make sure that the resolution FPS type is selected to custom, and you want to choose 1920 by 1080. That gives you the full screen width. It gives you the full coverage of the C922, which is very helpful. And, and, and it's, it's best if the sides are not cut off. You want to see the full width of the view of the camera. So do that for both of your cameras. And then in regards to the C or to the NDI uh, camera, let me hit cancel here. Um, I'll double click that and just show you what it looks like. All the parameters are pretty much set for you automatically. You just have to, when you create it for the first time, you hit the plus sign and you select NDI source. Okay? You won't see that unless you install the plugin, bottom line. So uh, that's how you assign the cameras to the OBS program. Okay? Now, the next step we're going to uh, sort of dig into is how to turn the cameras on with a key macro. And what we're going to use is something called HID, HID Macros. HID Macros. The program is 100% free. Go out and install it. I'll show you where that website is right now. Here we go. Okay, here's where you want to go to download the HID Macro software. Yes, I know this website's kind of funky and weird. Don't worry, the software is safe. Click the Downloads button right here. Down, click the blue download button here. Okay, download the software, install it. It's a very small program, virus free. Upon installing it, you want to open it up. It looks like this. Uh, as you can see, I've got a ton of macros already set up on this program here. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Go and click the uh, macros tab, then click new, then uh, name it anything you want to identify that key that you're going to set up. In this case, I will click um, new key because I already have a bunch here. I'll hit one. Then you want to click the scan button and then you want to click the key that you want to actuate the new macro. In this case, I'm going to click the one on the, the number pad on the far right. 
Okay, it recorded that button. Now you want to click the scripted tab and paste in the syntax or the code that actually tells that number one button to actually press. So, another, so to look at it from a global perspective, when you set this up properly, when you click the one button, it's actually going to click four buttons. In this case, it's going to click Alt, Control, Shift, and the B button. Okay, it won't click one it will actually click four buttons. And we're gonna assign that, those four buttons to OBS and tell OBS to use a specific camera with that keystroke, it's cool. Now we are going to assign the keys to the cameras off and on states in OBS. But before I get into that, I wanna explain the concept behind three cameras because it's kind of a, it's a little bit on the complex side. So. Let's take a look at it right here. Uh, I've just created a piece of paper that represents three cameras, camera one, camera two, camera three. They both have an on and off state, okay? So if you assign key one to turn on the first camera here, right? That would be key one stroke, right? Key one. And that would turn off, you wanna make sure that that same key turns off camera two, if it's already on, or camera three, all right? Now for camera two, when you hit that keystroke, we'll make that a two, the two key, that will turn off the first camera, right? And that will turn off the third camera. But wait a minute, there's, only, uh, there's already a state that turns off the camera for key button two. Well, guess what? OBS allows us to assign a, a second off state. So this will also, the key, the, the two key will also shut off three. And if we have the number three key turn on camera three, it will shut off camera one and camera two. So I just wanna make sure you understand that concept that, the, that there is an on and off, by default OBS allows for a on and off state for all three cameras, but you're gonna have to add an extra off state so that you can assign the extra uh, keys to the off states on the other on the other cameras. I hope that makes sense. But but you need to understand that. You need to understand that concept. Let me show you what that looks like now in OBS. Okay, you want to go into OBS and click Settings, and you go to Hotkeys. And you know when when people see the Hotkeys page, they're like, My God, why? Is this so complex? Well, the reason why it's so complex is because it allows you to add extra states. Now you wanna scroll down. If you created that initial scene that I created, I called it cameras and mic. If you named it the same thing, scroll down to cameras and mic. Now, if you named it something else, scroll down until you see that, th that scene, okay? And you wanna look for the three cameras. In my case, I have three cameras. If you have two, that means you're only gonna have one off state per camera because you only have two. If you have three, you're gonna have three, or I should say two off states, which is three parameters per camera, like I just showed you on that paper. Uh, so this is how you do it. If you wanna add an extra state for say the hide camera, you just hit the plus sign to, next to that hide state and boom, it adds it right there, see it? It adds it right there. And that's it. Just go through the buttons, take your time, hit the macros, the macro buttons that you assign the macros to, and it will just automatically put it in there. Here, I'll show you right now. Bloop, see that? It put it in there. That was one keystroke, and it added Control Alt Shift plus the M key, which was assigned to that button. That is cool, don't you think? Uh, if you want to delete that, if you made a mistake and you want to delete it, just hit the minus sign and you're good to go. Okay, now go into Camtasia, hit the record button, and make sure that you select the OBS camera in the camera parameter. Okay, it looks like this right here. If you have any questions regarding this video, put them in comments. I will answer them 100%. I follow up on all my comments. Uh, if you're interested in a second video that discusses how to set up a second keyboard, for only 10 bucks at Amazon, click that link. It also discusses HID macros and all that good stuff. Really fun video. Uh, I will see you on the flip side. <laughs> Thanks for following along. Stay strong and keep fighting. Take care.